let's start it guys and peace be upon this money so in this video we're going to learn how to configure border gateway protocol bdp using cisco packet tracer so i'll open our google spreadsheet i'll let you know that today we're doing uh, the last part of number 10 bgp routing protocol all right so without any further ado i'll open our notepad again to highlight the steps that we're going to follow to achieve this objective so the first step is always to draw the necessary topology we decorate and comment so as you can see here i have a topology consisting of how many routers three routers two access layer switches and four computers i have two lands uh, the, the first one on the left another one on the right and you can see uh, the two routers are connected via a third router in the middle okay all right so we want to configure bgp so the first step always make sure that you draw the topology using 29 11 router and do the comments as i have done here here between this router and this router is this network this router and this router is this network and this LAN is this network. Finally, this LAN is this network, right? Okay, so I go back to uh, the notepad. Configure IP addresses to the routers and hosts. So, guys, what I'm going to do is that you see this network here. I have to assign it to this interface and this interface such that this interface, let's start with this one. This one will get 10, 10, 10.1. Okay, so let's start. Then when come on this other side, this one will get 2020.1 slash 30. Such that this one gets uh, 20.2. Then this one gets uh, 10.2, right? All right. And to the interfaces that are connected to the respective lands, for example, this one, it should get uh, 102.168.10.1. This one should get 102.168.20.1, okay? And they will hack us the default gateway of their respective plans okay all right so without any further ado i'll begin uh, ip address configuration and i'll check on the these interfaces gig this gig zero zero and this is gig zero one so gig zero zero should take 10 10 10 1 this one should take 10 10 10 i mean 20 20 20 2 okay all right so when i come here i do it very very fast to save time always always make sure you turn it fast Okay, so I'm done uh, configuring IP address to the router's interface. So I'll proceed to configure host devices. So I have to make sure that the host devices have a default gateway of their respective router's interface IP address. So for example, this computer, the default gateway will be this one. This computer here, the default gateway will be the IP address of this interface. Okay, so I do it very fast to save time. All right, so we're done configuring IP address uh, in all the routers and the computers. So we go back to our notepad to check uh, the next step. The next step is to configure BGP. Uh, we specify the neighbor with autonomous system number. And finally, we advertise the directly connected networks. All right. So like the, uh, the guideline here says we need to configure BGP. Because this is uh, this the main objective of this video today. Configure BGP. You specify the neighbor with AAS, A A S N, which is autonomous system number, and then we advertise the directly connected networks. Right? All right. So when you're going to configure BGP, guys, remember this router here is like a bridge between this LAN. And this one so we need to configure BGP in all the routers and we need to tell this router that its neighbor is this router we need to tell this router here that its neighbor is this one and we also need to tell the middle router that it has two neighbors this one and this one so, all right so when I click here you come to see line okay so the first thing we do we make the router aware that it's using bgp as the routing protocol so we just say the command router bgp so router bgp autonomous we write autonomous system number which is number 20 okay in this side right 
when you hit enter. After writing the autonomous system number, guys, we give the router its ID, BGP router ID for identification. Okay? Alright, so we just say BGP uh, router ID to be, let's say, 1.1.1.1. That's all. And you hit enter. Right? Then we give the neighbor. We tell uh, this PGP its neighbor. So the neighbor should be the IP address of the next stop. So the IP address of the next stop from this router is the IP address of this interface here, which is gig00 on the middle router. Gig00 on the middle router, you can see the IP address is 10, 10, 10 1. So when you come back here, we just say neighbor, neighbor to be 10.10.1. 10 10 okay, then you say remote us, remote us the autonomous system number here, which is 35. Okay, sorry, 35. Okay, you give the neighbor, which is the appearance of this interface, and you specify its autonomous system number. The autonomous system number of this uh, router here will be 35 okay and we hit enter this router here currently it's it it only uh, it only have uh, one bgp neighbor okay which is this one so what we do now here is just to advertise the directly connected network so when we just say we just say network uh network uh let's start with this one one and two one sixty eight dot ten dot zero zero then you say subnet mask. Here we just say mask to be 255.255.255.0. Then another network is this network, which is we just say network 10.10.10.0. Uh, .10 .10 the directly connected network. Then we say mask. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.255.0. Uh, because of slash 30 notation. And we hit enter. Okay, so I go to this router first before I can handle the middle router. So I just click on the second router. Just in the like, uh, just like in the first, we just say router uh, BGP, then the autonomous system number, here, which is 50. Don't confuse with the autonomous system numbers because if you misplace uh, them, uh, it won't work. All right. So after specifying the router uh, BGP with the autonomous system number, give the BGP router ID. So you just say BGP router ID to be let's say 2.2.2.2. .2 okay. Then you specify the remote uh the, the neighbor with the remote uh autonomous system number. So the next hop from this router is the IP address of this interface. So gig01 here is you can see it's 2020.1. So we just say uh, the neighbor is 20.20.20.1 .20 and it has autonomous system number of 35. This router should be in a BGP autonomous system number 35. Very simple. Then now we advertise the directly connected networks which is 2020 and 20 20.0. Okay? All right, now I start. We just say network, uh, network uh, one two one sixty eight dot twenty dot zero with a separate mask of uh, two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Uh, finally, we will put the last network, which is ten twenty twenty dot twenty dot twenty dot zero uh, with a separate mask of uh, two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two five, five, dot two, five two. Exit. And do it. So we're done configuring BGP in this router, in this router, and this router here. So let's finalize BGP configuration on this router. So when you go to this router, come to CLI, uh, enable uh, config T. So let's make it. Uh, uh, let, let's make the router aware that it's using BGP as the routing protocol and with which autonomous system number 35 okay just 35 don't forget and don't don't confuse the autonomous system numbers and you hit enter then you give the router ID just say router 
uh, BGP route ID, BGP route ID, route ID to be let's say 3.3.3.3 and hit enter. And now you start giving remote, uh, I mean, the neighbors. On this router, it has two neighbors. One neighbor is this one, the other one is this one. So the neighbor here should be the IP address of this interface. So zero zero on this side, you can see it's 10, 10, 10, 2. So I come, I come here and just say neighbor to be 10, 10.10.10.2. 10 10 then it's a remote us. Which autonomous system number is it in? It is in autonomous system number 20. 20. And you hit enter. And guys, you see this information here. BGP5 uh, adjacency neighbor 10, 10, 10 up. So it's for, it has already formed neighbor with this router. Okay. All right. So we have to tell this router that, that there's another neighbor, which is this one. And to tell it that, you have to extract the IP address of this interface and the autonomous system number here. So the IP address of that interface, you can see it's 2022. All right. So when I come here, uh, when I come here, I just change this to 50. Then I come here, I change this to 20. Uh, 20. 20. And I hit enter. And you can see the information here. It has formed adjacency with this router all right okay so finally we need to advertise the directly the directly connected networks on this router so which networks this one and this one and this one only so when i come here just say network a network 10 dot 10 10 dot um 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot uh let's say um zero okay the server mask of uh 255 to 255.255.252 and you hit enter then you change this to 2020.0 okay all right exit and do right so if i can just say this and and i can just say this show ip uh bgp uh neighbors uh, you can see the first neighbor BGP neighbor with that one. Okay, which was this router. Okay, 1.1.1 was ID of this which router this one Then let me scroll to see if it has another neighbor Well, uh, where is another neighbor? In short just a minute just a minute um, hmm. Okay, there is another neighbor you can see here with 20.20.20 and uh, the router ID was 2.2.2 .2 which was the IP address of which was the router ID of this router okay and also I can just say uh, show IP BGP a summary you can see this information neighbors it has two neighbors okay and all that information you can see the autonomous system number is 20 and 50 right Okay, so it's the time that we test our communication. Let's say we want to ping this PC, which is 20.20 .20 or 20.10. So we just click on this one. And you can see this one is 10.10, .10, okay? All right, so I want to ping 20. Uh, ping uh, 12.168.20.10 first. So we have to just give it some time. It will ping conf because we've configured a routing protocol successfully, which is PGP right all right so we can also try 20 to 20 it will be so that's basically i really uh, appreciate for watching this video and i believe this video is all right so guys i believe this video is really helping out to configure border gateway routing protocol to advertise uh routes in the network so i'll mark number 10 as done so when we meet next let's start with uh access controllers Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video, share with friends, and